Do Muslims believe in the concept of original sin? The concept of original sin actually is a very interesting um, proposition made by Christians. Uh, it actually violates every possible principle put together about the divine mercy and justice of God. For the notion of original sin uh, is sort of a, a quagmire that creates so many complications in religion that it becomes impossible to regulate thereafter. I think the concept of original sin was brought into the folds of Christianity from the Pauline concept uh, because if you examine this notion of us inheriting the sin of someone else, which by the way from the Old Testament is very, very clear, anywhere in the New Testament, you find this issue of um, carrying the burden of someone else is, uh, is forbidden biblically. You find in the Old Testament, it is mentioned uh, in Ezekiel, that no one shall bear the burden of the other. In the Quran, we find the same thing. Quran says, وَلَا تَزِرُ وَازِرَةٌ وِزْرَ أُخْرَى None shall bear the burden of the other. You find even Paul in the letters that he writes to the people, he speaks about the bearing of the burdens. And yet, the axial position of Christianity is the vicarious atonement of the original sin of Adam through the crucifixion of Jesus, peace be upon him, to, to die for the sins of others. This basically reeks of all kinds of problems uh, in terms of the justice of God and the mercy of God. So Islam categorically rejects the notion of the original sin. Sin is that which a person willfully commits to reject the good. And this is easily remediable simply by seeking forgiveness. And in fact, before even Jesus was crucified, he was forgiving people. You find historically prophets that preceded him were forgiving people. So if the power of forgiveness cannot come unless the crucifixion takes place, why was Jesus forgiving before he was crucified? That's one question. Number two, if supposedly Adam committed this sin, then Adam should be held liable. Why is the rest of humanity holding the liability, which is absurd? And if that's the, the system of God, then such a God is not worthy of being worshipped because this is a God who's put us in a handicapped position and we're damned and doomed at birth, which actually questions the whole integrity of God's mercy, which is impossible. God is too merciful to be accused of such a, such a concoction. So if you take it from every possible angle, we in a civil society can never hold anyone liable for the deeds that they have not committed. And the power of innocence implies very clearly that you, one must be innocent until proven guilty. So the difference that we find between Islam and Christianity is that in Islam, everyone is innocent until proven guilty. Whereas in Christianity, everyone is guilty until proven innocent. And by any civil system, for someone to be accused of something uh, at the very start, that's a very unjust, uh, system and that's not acceptable within the domain of God's religion. So the whole concept of original sin as far as Islam is concerned is a concoction, it is not true.